part, this is part two. Guys, excuse the noise. The kids are talking. The annoying kids, right? <laughs> yeah. You like kids? I even I like kids, but like, I'm not the best guy to to, to take care of kids, right? Obviously. But I don't mind kids. I like kids, but I'm not the best guy to take care of kids, obviously. I used to do, I used to babysit kids when I was in church. When I went to church back in like 2007, I used to babysit all these people's kids and all that stuff. Their babies, I used to have to, have to take care of them, help the people change their diapers, all that stuff. I remember doing that in church. I went to church back in, uh... Two thousand five, two thousand six, two thousand seven. When I was fifteen, I used to help babysit the, the babies and the kids, the toddlers. So Sarah. Give me a sec, I'm gonna go upstairs and get a drink. Oh wait, I have a I have a, I have a drink. Never mind, I ha I have enough drink, enough of a drink here. I'm drinking ginger ale. Yeah. I don't remember man, if you wanna get the rat's attention, man, you have to lose this weight. Which I did. Yesterday, I was tempted to sleep in again. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. I went on the treadmill, and I persevered, and I went on the treadmill. I'm going to go again tonight. But tonight, I have to go early. I have to go, like, around maybe 10, 11. Because I have work tomorrow at 9. I'm off today, but I have work tomorrow at 9. Obviously. So I'm going to work out today. And my goal is to lose, get down to 250 by the end. Get down to 250 pounds by the end of uh, the year. And what? And, uh... And uh, get down to 190 by the summer next year. That's my goal. From Sarah? Yeah. You have to use noise, guys. The kids are, are freaking crazy, man. Yeah, Ivan, if you want to lose this weight, you have to be determined, obviously. And tomorrow I'm going to start flirting with uh, with the other chick, obviously. I won't tell you who I'm going for at Coco Free. It's not your business. But I, I plan on asking a chick on a date or, like, hang out with her maybe, like, in a month from now. Two and a half weeks. The problem is, is that... None, like, the, the other chicks don't close. The only ones that close are, like, the redhead and that guy with the glasses. There's a guy who's tall, he has glasses. He usually closes on Sundays. And then the redhead usually closes on Saturdays. But sometimes the brunette chick closes and the blonde chick closes, too. It just depends. But that's rare. Usually the redhead is the one who closes. The manager always makes her close. And he makes the guy with the glasses close. There. Yeah, the kids are upstairs, so you won't hear the noise that much. Usually, the guy with the glasses closes, obviously. 
So if I want to ask on a chick on a date, I have to find the right time to, 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 to ask her, man. Makes sense, Sarah? Yeah. I have an idea. If the, the chick usually parks her car in the back, what I can do is, um, once you sense that she's about to leave, you can go outside and have a smoke and then ask her there, right? Before she leaves, if you want, but I mean, yeah, I was wondering, do you want to, what's your number? Do you want to hang out sometime? Like a date? I'm like, no, not really a date. We just hang out. You know what I'm saying? As, uh, as, as like friends, right? We can walk around Elmer. As long as we, we, we act as friends, you don't have to worry about people becoming demonized. People will give me a bit of that dirty stare, but it won't be that bad. As long as I hang out, as long as we act as friends, it's fine. Because if you act as boyfriend, girlfriend, it can become scandalous and people become demonized, obviously. A bit demonized. I have no, are you over exaggerating? I might be over exaggerating. I'm doing this entertaining, guys. I might be over exaggerating with the demonization, but like people will be a bit demonized if they see me with a chick. Especially if they see that word touchy touchy, they can be a bit demonized. Hence why you, you what? You are uh, you have to act as friends, obviously, to protect yourself, Ivan, to protect a chick, obviously, and nobody, Ivan, at Coco Forty can know. Nobody can know. So I'm saying, nobody can know. Obviously, don't tell your set family, Ivan.